Hi everyone, this is a detailed video about postpartum depression. Well, the birth of a baby can trigger a jumble of powerful emotions from excitement and joy to fear and anxiety. But it can also result in something you might not expect, that is depression. Most new moms experience postpartum baby blues after childbirth which commonly include mood swings, crying spells, anxiety and difficulty in sleeping. Baby blues typically begin within the first two to three days after delivery and may last for up to two weeks. But some new moms experience a more severe long-lasting form of, form of depression known as postpartum depression. Rarely an extreme mood disorder called postpartum psychosis also may develop after childbirth. Postpartum depression is not a character flaw or a weakness. Sometimes it is simply a complication of giving birth. If you have postpartum depression, prompt treatment can help you manage your symptoms and help you bond with your baby. Earlier on this channel, I have already posted a sh short video about postpartum depression. Today, I am going to discuss uh, this illness in detail. In which, uh, I, I mean, in, in this video, actually, I am discussing uh, three illnesses. Okay, it's like. Uh, from mild to severe illnesses related to postpartum and depression. Okay, now let me tell you the symptoms. Signs and symptoms of depression after childbirth vary and they can range from mild to severe. First of all, I'll tell you the symptoms of uh, a baby blues, which, which is a mild condition related to postnatal uh, uh, depression. Well, the signs and symptoms of baby blues, which last only a few days to a week or two after your baby is born, may include mood swings, anxiety, sadness, irritability, feeling overwhelmed, crying, reduced concentration, appetite problems, trouble sleeping. Now, I'll tell you the uh, symptoms of postpartum depression. Postpartum depression may be mistaken for baby blues at first, but the signs and symptoms are more intense and last longer and may eventually interfere with your ability to care for your baby and handle other daily tasks. Symptoms usually develop within the first few weeks after giving birth, but may begin earlier during pregnancy or later up to a year after birth. Postpartum depression signs and symptoms may include depressed mood or severe mood swings, excessive crying, Difficulty bonding with your baby, withdrawing from family and friends, loss of appetite or eating much more than usual, inability to sleep, I mean that is insomnia or sleeping too much, overwhelming fatigue or loss of energy, reduced interest in and pleasure, reduced interest and pleasure in activities you used to enjoy, intense irritability and anger, fear that you are not a good mother, hopelessness, Feelings of worth, worthlessness, shame, guilt, or inadequacy, diminished ability to think clearly, concentrate, or make decisions, restlessness, severe anxiety and panic attacks, thought of harming yourself or your baby, recurrent thoughts of death or suicide. Untreated postpartum depression may last for many months or longer. Now I will discuss the symptoms of uh, postpartum psychosis. With postpartum psychosis, a rare condition that typically develops within the first week after delivery, the signs and symptoms are severe, and these uh, signs and symptoms include confusion and disorientation, obsessive thoughts about your baby, hallucinations and delusions, sleep disturbances, excessive energy and agitation, paranoia, attempts to, uh, attempts to harm yourself or your baby. Postpartum psychosis may lead to life-threatening thoughts or behaviors and require immediate treatment. Now I will discuss uh, another problem that is postpartum depression in new fathers. New fathers can experience postpartum depression too. They may feel sad or fatigued, be overwhelmed, experience anxiety or have changes in their usual eating and sleeping patterns. The same symptom mother with postpartum depression experience. Fathers who are young have a history of depression, experience relationship problems, or are struggling financially are most at risk of postpartum depression. Postpartum depression in fathers, sometimes called paternal postpartum depression, can have the same negative effect on partner relationships and child development as postpartum depression in mothers can. If you are a new father and 
are experiencing symptoms of depression or anxiety during your partner's pregnancy or in the first year after your childbirth, talk to your healthcare professional. Similar treatments and support provided to mothers with postpartum de depression can be beneficial in treating postpartum depression in fathers. If you are feeling depressed after your baby's birth, you may be reluctant or embarrassed to admit it, but if you experience any symptoms of postpartum baby blues or postpartum depression, you should call your doctor and schedule an appointment. If you have symptoms that suggest you may have postpartum psychosis, you should get help immediately. It is important to call your doctor as soon as possible if the signs of symptoms of depression have uh, uh, any of the features which I am going to tell you now. If the signs and symptoms do not fade after two weeks are getting worse, make it hard for you to care for your baby. Make it hard to complete everyday tasks, include thoughts of harming your, yourself or your baby. If you have a suicidal thought, then you should uh, uh, contact your local emergency number as soon as possible. Similarly, if somebody is uh, suffering from uh, postpartum uh, depression um, or psychosis uh, in your family, then uh, in case of uh, postpartum psychosis, you should contact the emergency number to help your uh, family member. Okay. Now I will discuss the causes. Well, there is no single cause of postpartum depression, but physical and emotional issues may play a role. The first is physical changes. After childbirth, a dramatic drop in hormone, that is estrogen and progesterone, and your body may contribute to postpartum depression. Other hormones produced by your thyroid gland also may drop sharply, which can leave you feeling tired, sluggish, and depressed. Emotional issues. When you are sleep deprived and overwhelmed, you may have trouble handling even minor problems. You may be anxious about your ability to care for a newborn. You may feel less attractive, struggle with your sense of identity, or feel that you have lost control over your life. Any of these issues can contribute to postpartum depression. Now I'll tell you the risk factors. Any new mom can experience postpartum depression and it can develop after the birth of any child, not just the first. However, your risk increases if you have a history of depression, either during pregnancy or at other times, or if you have bipolar disorder, you had postpartum depression after a previous pregnancy, you have family members who have had depression or other mood disorders, you have experienced stressful events during the past year such as pregnancy complications, illness or job loss. Uh, your, or your baby has health problems or other special needs. You have twins, triplets or other multiple births. You have difficulty in breastfeeding. You are having problems in your relationship with your spouse or significant other. You have a weak support system. You have financial problems. The pregnancy was unplanned or unwanted. So these were the risk factors. Now I'll tell you the complications. If left untreated, postpartum depression can interfere with mother-child bonding and cause family problems. For mothers, untreated postpartum depression can last for months or longer, sometimes becoming a chronic depressive disorder. Even when treated, postpartum depression increases a woman's risk of future episodes of major depression. For fathers, postpartum de depression can have a ripple effect, causing emotional strain for everyone close to the new baby. When a new mother is depressed, the risk of depression in the baby's father may also increase. And new dads are already at increased risk of depression whether or not their partner is affected. For children, ch uh, ch children or mothers who have untreated, untreated, untreated postpartum depression are more likely to have emotional and behavior problems such as sleeping and eating difficulty, excessive crying and delays in language development. Prevention. If you have a history of uh, Depression, especially postpartum depression, tell your doctor if you are planning or becoming pregnant or as soon as you find out you are pregnant. During pregnancy, uh, your doctor can monitor you closely for signs and symptoms of depression. He or she may have, complete, uh, may have you complete a depression screening questionnaire during your pregnancy and after delivery. Sometimes mild depression can be managed with support groups, counseling or other therapies. In other cases, antidepressants may be recommended even during pregnancy. Uh, and I'll tell you prevention after your baby is born. Your doctor may recommend an early postpartum checkup to screen for signs and symptoms of postpartum depression. The earlier it is detected, the earlier treatment can begin. If you have a ST of postpartum depression, your doctor may recommend antidepressant treatment or psychotherapy immediately after delivery. Okay, now I will tell you about the diagnosis. 
well when patient come to us we usually talk with your uh, talk with you about your feeling thoughts and mental uh, mental health to distinguish between a short term case of postpartum baby blues and a more severe form of depression do not be embarrassed postpartum depression is common share your symptoms with your doctor so that a useful treatment plan can be created for you as part of your evaluation we may do a depression screening that may include having you fill out a questionnaire order blood test to determine whether an underactive thyroid is contributing to your signs and symptoms order other test if warranted to rule out other cause for your symptom now i will tell you about the treatment well treatment and recovery time vary depending on the severity of your depression and your individual needs if you have an underactive thyroid or underlying illness your doctor may treat those conditions or refer you to an appropriate specialist your doctor may also refer you to mental health profession okay first of all i'll tell you the treatment of baby blues the baby blues usually fade on their own within a few days or a uh, few days to one to two weeks in the meantime get as much as rest you can uh, accept help from family and friends connect with other new mom create time to take care of yourself avoid alcohol and recreational drugs which can make mood swings worse now i'll tell you the treatment of postpartum depression well uh, postpartum depression is often treated with psychotherapy also called talk therapy or mental health counseling medication or both psychotherapy it may help to talk uh, talk through your concern with the psychiatrist psychologist or other mental health professional uh, through therapy you can find better way to cope with your feelings solve problems set realistic goals and respond to situation in a positive way sometimes family or relationship therapy also help antidepressant your doctor may recommend an antidepressant if you are breastfeeding and medication um, i mean your doctor may recommend an antidepressant in case if you are breastfeeding any medication you take will enter your breast milk however most antidepressants can be used during breastfeeding with little risk of side effects for your baby work with your doctor to weigh the potential risks and benefits of specific antidepressants uh, with appropriate treatment postpartum depression symptoms usually improve in some cases postpartum depression can continue becoming chronic depression it is important to continue treatment after you begin to feel better stopping treatment too early may lead to a relapse now i'll tell you the treatment of postpartum psychosis postpartum psychosis requires immediate treatment usually in the hospital treatment may include medication uh, med- uh, treatment may require a combination of medicines such as antipsychotic medication mood stabilizer benzod- and benzodiazepine to control your signs and symptoms electroconvulsive therapy that is ect if your postpartum depression is severe and uh, you experience postpartum psychosis ect may be recommended if symptoms do not respond to medication ect is a procedure in which small electrical currents are passed through the brain intentionally intentionally triggering a brief seizure ecc seems to ca- uh, cause changes in brain chemistry that can reduce the symptoms of psychosis and depression especially when other treatments have been unsuccessful Treatment for postpartum psycho- psychosis can challenge a mother's ability to breastfeed. Separation from the baby makes breastfeeding difficult and some medications used to treat postpartum psychosis are not recommended for women who are breastfeeding. If you are experiencing postpartum psychosis, you should uh, your doctor uh, I mean if you are experiencing postpartum psychosis, your doctor can help you work through these challenges. Okay. Now I'll tell you some this was the treatment. Now I'll tell you some lifestyle and home remedies. Well, in addition to professional treatment, you can do something for yourself that build on your treatment plan and help speed recovery. Make first of all make healthy lifestyle choices. Include physical activities such as walk with your baby and other form of exercise in your daily routine. Try to get adequate rest, eat healthy foods, and avoid alcohol. Set realistic expectations. Do not uh, pressure yourself to do everything. Scale back your expectations for the perfect household. Do what you can and leave the rest. make time for yourself take some time for yourself and get out of the house that may mean take asking a partner to take care of the baby or arrange, arranging for a baby sitter do something you enjoy such as hobby or some form of entertainment you might also schedule some time alone with your partner or friends avoid isolation talk with your partner family and friends about how you are feeling ask other mothers about their experiences breaking breaking the isolation may help you feel human again ask for help 
try to open uh, up to the people close to you and let them know you uh, need help if someone offers to babysit take them up on it if you can sleep take a nap or maybe you can catch a movie or meet for uh, coffee with friends you may also benefit from asking for help with parenting skills that can include caregiving techniques to improve your baby's sleep and soothe uh, soothe fussing and crying remember taking care of your baby includes taking care of yourself well this was my video about uh, postpartum depression uh, in fact i uh, discuss also postpartum uh, i mean baby blues and also postpartum psychosis so i hope you like this video if you have any question please do not forget to comment thanks for watching this video see you in the next video bye for now